Hello guys, this is the Trifty Guy. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been with us, welcome. Um, here I do some, you know, I show you guys some stuff that I found in tax sale and places that I go thrifting. And today, do a little quick video. You know, I want to share with you guys. I want to open with you guys on the jars that I get in Goodwill. You know, sometimes I get lucky and get good stuff in here. Sometimes custom watches, you know, a little bit of anything, you know, and always keep my little tools handy, ready. I got my little t diamond tester. I got my carry-on loop that I have, you know, to wait the gold silver. See what I got. I got my little stone to scratch. And I got my acid tester to make sure that if it's gold, real gold. And sometimes I have my cream polisher to, you know, polish the silver. I'll be doing one of those videos soon where I'm going to show you to how I polish, you know, some of the sterling from looking really, really bad and making them look, you know, nice and presentable to sell out there. So first I want to show you this nice bracelet. I found it go with they had it for marked for 99 cents. I polished it and I cleaned it up and it looks look at that nice beautiful and I got it for a dollar. So mark here here got all the markings there that you need and it's marked 25 925 inside there. I'm trying to get a clear view for you guys. So that I also bought this for a dollar. You know, some little charms. I'm assuming this are not real Pandora, but they still 925 Italy. Still nice, still silver. And look at how clean. And all inside here for a dollar. And I'm gonna show you most of the charms that comes with it. They all mark 925. And this is a this alone is like twenty five dollars. Now I load it up with all this charm. I'll polish them, clean them up, make them look real shiny, really nice. It's a quick, it's a flip. This one here, I believe, is just standing still. But the charms, some of the charms still here, I believe they are nine twenty five. Just one of them says 925, the other ones are not 925. So this one is all standing still. You know, sell it with a lot. I make a lot of custom jewelry. I put this in there also just to make it nice. But look, we got one, two, three, yep, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine. 10 about 15 beats that are marked 925 so that alone with the bracelet i could load that bracelet up with all that beautiful glass clean them up get an ac 50 dollars and i just pay a dollar for this little the, everything that was in there so just want to show you that real quick you know we'll put them over here we'll back those i like it to keep you know my sterling on one side if it's not sterling well, you know check them out really good make sure you're not missing any markings in there open it up sometimes marks will be inside if it's a real pandora you will find it inside the clap but this one appears to not be silver so i have a little box on the side here that i'm pointing out you probably won't see on the video but i put all my custom jewelry there and I put anything that's not silver there or gold. I'm trying to separate everything. So real quick, here you go. I pay $15.95 for this one. Uh, you know, sometimes I buy them because sometimes I feel like, you know, there'll be something inside here and here. So like I said before, you never know when you can come across inside one of those things here. So I want to open it up and we'll go through it to see what we got here. You know, I probably won't be able to get to the other one because the video will be a little too long. But if I find anything else in the other ones, I will be making a video 
showing you guys what I found or what I came across with. All right, so let's start here. So we're gonna get ourselves right here. Start with this watch. Sometimes they tangle them up pretty good, so that's a little challenge sometimes. So we'll put stuff in here. And this is the hard part, taking everything apart. All right, trying to find the other thing to make it out. Okay, here we go. So we'll start here. We got a little digital watch. I'll put that to the side because I like to make piles of watches, you know, and I make the piles of watches and, you know, then I don't like this, you know, sell stuff and all that. So, let's try to take all the watches out. Oh, here's something that looks really, that looks nice. I'll put this to the side. We'll give it a further view. Almost looks like gold. This price looks like gold tone. This one looks more like custom jewelry. You know, when you do a lot with this stuff, you can almost identify where this comes from. Look at this locket. We just I like to just take some of the stuff out, and then we'll go through some of this with our custom. Nice little. Some people call it hat pins. So we'll put this with the other one. Let me check them out real quick. So, nice vintage little brush right here. Tendon. All right, guys. Um, bear with me just a second. Some of the stuff is a little tied up, but I'm gonna show you now. So, yep, this is a sign piece, AJC brush. You know, once I clean it up, make it look good, this will sell custom jewelry. So, we'll put custom on the side. I wanna take, look at this little pen right here, brush. It's like a tight clip, for some reason for men's. So I'm gonna look it up with my loop because I see a marking on the corner. Open it up. All right, yep. So I'm gonna try to show you. This is, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. It's a 14 carat on the right corner. So, if I pay 15 bucks for it, I'm already, depending on how much it weighs, you know, maybe it looks like it's 1.5 grams, so it's not a bad start. You know, little knickknack jewelry, custom, we'll put it to the side. You know, another custom probably necklace. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that you could find in this jars like this. It's just sometimes they just throw them like they don't care, so they tangle everything up. You know, files, earring, clip on. Yeah, this one is not gold. I, I I have come across some gold pieces like that. And they sell pretty good, especially if there are real pearls in them. This is a gold one, but this is like a plated one. So we'll put it with the custom jewelry. We have another watch here. This is just a Timex. So we'll put it to the other side. So just trying to keep everything, you know, if I feel like it's gold, put it to one side. If it's not gold, put it to the other. And that's why I have the little loop because sometimes stuff are so tiny that you need your loop with you to look closely at the item. So now I'm trying to just untangle this stuff here. So that's what we're doing right now. Untangling these pieces, here we go. Oh, 
right, so I'm looking for any markings inside. It's no marking, but it's still, you know, cleaned up. The girls will buy it. They like to wear a lot of custom jewelry. Custom jewelry, people are buying it. It's pretty hot in the market, too. Another custom one. Like I said, I buy these things in Goodwood because, well, it depends on what Goodwood you go to, but I got some Goodwoods near me that they be putting good, decent stuff in there. Nice little custom bracelet. Nice little pendant. Like, I've been finding lately a lot of little pieces of gold, like the one that I just found. Like, the other day I found a broken necklace, but it's 14 karat gold, it's still crap value. I think it was like almost 2.5 grams. It's just not bad at all. This is another nice custom, you know, the rope chain with a nice little pendant. Again, it's custom jewelry, but the custom is seven. All right, what else we got here? Let's check another, looks like another custom. Jewelry. This one is a locket. You can put a little picture in there. Sometimes you will come across some lockets that are gold and people mix them up with like chains that are like, you know, gold feel, stuff like that. So that's why I like to look for it again for any markings, anything on them. Sometimes the marking will be here, really tiny. It says 14 karat. So just gotta look really carefully. Some of these pieces. Okay, we got another one. It's gold tone. So I'm looking for any markings. There's no markings. Then it goes to the custom jewelry section. Well, at the end, I separate everything. How I'm going to sell it. If I'm going to sell it on eBay, I'm going to sell it on Marketplace. Another watch here. We got a... Uh, it's moon face watch. Put it with the pile of the watches. Piece of custom. This one has no markings on it, so I'm gonna put it with the custom jewelry. Little pair of earrings. Look at this thing. I'm already what, like two, three minutes into it. Look, and I'm still got a full thing of jewelry to go through here. Sometimes, you know, it's $15, but it's worth just going through them, you know? Just killing time. Look, this one had a tag already for one I sense. It's like a little no clipper from Texas. We'll put it over here with the custom jewelry. And at the end, sometimes the custom jewelry like this, I will find the other pair, put them together, you know? make a pile of custom jewelry and put it for auction either ebay or marketplace and it will sell trust me just looking for markings it's important to look i like to you know if i get anything that's sterling put it with the sterling pile so well, this is custom custom jewelry custom jewelry custom jewelry we're gonna put it here in the side All right, and like, you know, if you're new to my channel, you're watching this video, you know, I, I do a lot of tax sales, a lot of Goodwills, state sales, you know, and I try to, you know, show you guys that there's still stuff to be found out there. You can find things, sometimes how to identify things. And, you know, I had a question the other day where, you know, they asked me about the silver, if silver could get stained and silver could get really stained and really dark, you know, but they do sell polishers that you could polish you know the jewelry and you know make it look almost like new again look at this little nice cuff bracelet it's not silver but you know nice and cleaned up somebody will buy another set of earrings you know custom i have people that like custom they always you know ask me if i have any custom jewelry you know to make them a, like a pile and sell them to them as, you know, to make a lot of people use. Sometimes people use custom jewelry just to decorate for Christmas or do ornaments and stuff like that. So I'm putting away some of that custom jewelry. 
you know, looking for any markings. Sometimes when they look go, I try to look carefully just in case I don't miss it. Especially now that gold is selling so nice, you know, you could probably come across. This is genuine copper, another copper cup. All right. And it's still like, this is only like a little jar, but this is, you know, they packed it pretty good here. All right. And again, looking for any marking. This almost looks like if it was gold, but it looks like it's gold plated. It's a very nice pendant. see a marking inside so I'm gonna put it aside it, sometimes it could be 925 just played it but still if it's 925 I'll put it with my silver pile so again custom jewelry that's a custom custom jewelry this little custom jewelry earrings here Let's put this with this over here. Another custom bracelet, custom, custom, custom. Uh, this one they put it in the baggie, but it looks like it's custom. Mm -hmm. Earrings, you gotta look carefully because sometimes this earrings could mark over here and it's so tiny that you definitely need your loop to look. So I'm just looking to make sure that it's the silver. So right now everything here is custom. We'll put it on the side. Let's keep, let's keep digging. That's more to dig. Look at all this. I'll put it all here so you guys can see it. I'm gonna move a little forward so you guys can see. It's a nice glass bead. Looking for like the other ones. The other ones were marked 925. This is not marked 925, but still will go to my pile. I mean, the glass is still nice. Sometimes this bead could be Murano glass, but you know, we'll put it to the side. All right, look at all this. Come on, we need to hope for more gold. It's a good feeling when you buy something like that and you find gold stuff in there. It's another custom. Oh, nice little necklace there. Some nice like bonnet sign piece. Earrings. Something if it's too tangled up, I'll try to look over them quick and make sure that you know I'm not missing any markings. Some of this appear to be just custom jewelry. We're gonna put it to the side. Just gotta look carefully at the items, make sure you don't miss out anything. markings in that one. All right, this one I'm gonna look sometimes this. Sometimes if this looks like it could be gold, it's a little corroded. Not corroded, but you know, really dark. Cause sometimes gold it's not really really pure it might have a little stain but well, i'll clean it up and check if i have a dial with my cleaner and then here's custom all right most of it appears to be custom but i think i did i mean that little piece of gold 
It's not bad. It was worth the shot. Just this piece, 14 karat gold. And like I said, I put it in my scale and it was 1.5. You know, scrap badly. It was probably worth maybe like 35 bucks, $40. But if I sell it on eBay, I clean it up, I might get 50 bucks for it. People are buying gold, a lot of gold right now. And gold's pretty high, so. Just making sure I don't miss nothing. You know, I hope you guys are enjoying it like I am, because I like to just dig through everything. I don't try, I don't leave anything behind. If I know that I can make a buck out of it, that's what flipping is all about. All right, so he, we just are done with the first jar. You know, if you guys like this video, if you're new to my page and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, you know, and I will keep showing you guys, you know, now that the summer's here and the good weather's here, I'll be doing a lot more tax sales and stay sales. So, you know, I'll be taking and recording some of the stuff so you guys could see, you know, stuff that's out here, you know, and it's a lot of, a lot of stuff to be look at. And I'm pretty sure people keep putting stuff out there to sell that are valuable. And then, uh, you know, some people just don't care. They just want to sell it. They want to make extra cash. And who who knows you'll be that guy, that, you know, run into it and buy it and make a good buck out of it. So subscribe and hope you stay safe and keep digging, keep thrifting. Then I'm pretty sure you're going to find good stuff just like I am. And I'm going to be making a video soon about polishing some sterling silver. So you guys can see that, you know, transformation from tarnished to nice and clean. All right, guys. So have a good one and stay safe and see you in my next video.